So we have just seen promo images of the final product for the Spider-Man PS4 Advanced suit by Hot Toys. Super excited about it. The figure looks amazing. Um, there are a few concerns that I have about it. I generally have some CS4 mode though because like I thought I'd skip this one. And now looking at the final product, uh, I'm seriously regretting that. But you know, let's have a quick look at it together. And then after that, we can touch base on, you know, what our final thoughts are. So let's go. Okay, so first and foremost, the figure comes with a shitload of accessories. I mean, that is just simply phenomenal. I think one of the major uh, plot points in the game was, you know, all the upgrades that Spider-Man could do on his costume, especially this, you know, given that it's his advanced suit. And these guys have really gone all out of here, as you can see. Um, I do note from the promo images, you know, some of the stuff is not shown. There's a little spider sense thing that doesn't seem to be in any of the images. But looking at all these other little things, I just love that little Spider-Man doll. It's awesome and the little drone over there as well um, these guys I, I'm really impressed with Hot Toys on this even the figure itself as you can see it, it looks identical to what we saw in the game and um, this here the final figure uh, actually looks a hell of a lot better than the prototype in terms of the musculature the detailing and whatnot and on the topic of detailing as we zoom in over here slightly closer you can see that even on the costume even on the emblem there's all of these like little details there's like small textures and you know, like I, I, it's amazing how they were able to do that. This is not stuff I would have expected to see here, but it, it, it it's just phenomenal. And um, I would like to know though whether like this is like a pleather-like material or sort of like a vinyl or whatnot. Um, I'm leaning towards plastic and pleather because as you can see over here on the head, it doesn't have that sewing issue that we saw on like the Spider-Man Homecoming figure, for example. Um, this just looks amazing. Probably the the best Spider-Man figure we've seen to date and uh, once again on the attention to detail you can see over here that you know everything seems to be embossed you know there's multiple layers however i do have a concern as to whether the stuff is going to start peeling as the days go by like i mean the stuff going to come loose is it glued on what's going on with that on the topic of what's going to happen in the future, now I'm worried about the articulation. As you can see, you know, it looks as though it's a very well articulated figure. They can get a hell of a lot of dynamic poses, which you would want from a Spider-Man figure, of course. However, as we've previously seen with the Spider-Man Homecoming um, costume, you know, we, we, we I worry that, you know, like with time, the costume is going to bend and tear and get like little rips in it now because of the nature of the material. I mean, if holding it in dynamic poses is going to damage the figure, then I'm not so sure if that's such a great idea. However, looking at these promo images, it would be a crying shame if one couldn't do that. Um, on the whole, though, I would have to say, you know, this is just such a beautiful figure. It looks amazing. I really can't wait to see one in person. I sincerely regret not pre-ordering myself, but uh, I'm sure I'll be able to pick one up at some point or the other. But I simply love this thing. I have very high expectations of it. A few concerns as well, but um, I'm willing to drop some cash in just to give it a go. But let me know what you think as well. Alrighty then, so now you know what the figure looks like. And I gotta tell you, I don't think anyone can deny that it looks simply amazing. I love what they've done, the way they've got like, you know, some really amazing accessories linked to what is a very well articulated figure and just overall it just seems like the whole package so i'm um, plotting on getting one myself uh, hopefully i'll be able to find one at a decent price noting that i missed the pre-order um i do have some concerns but you know what i'm willing to you know like give it a whirl and try my luck and see how far we get if you are getting this figure you know let me know what your thoughts are and if you are watching this video at some point in the future after the figure has already been released well let me know you know what your experience has been you know have you seen any of the flaking or any of the damage that i expected on the costume you know did that come to pass uh, i really hope not but if it has you know let me know in the comments below on the topic of the comments below guys would really help me out if we were to engage on these topics and discuss this a little more i'm a very friendly dude so looking forward to some of that in addition to that though you know it would really help me out if you were to you know subscribe and like this video that would be great as well in the meanwhile i'll chat to you guys soon bye